saving this marriage. This marriage is going down like the Titanic. This marriage is up in flames. This marriage is brittle dry bones that are turning into dust and scattering with the winds. If someone cheats on you once, they finna cheat on you again, and again, and again, and again. You know what they say, karma's a So I missed. <laughs> So hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, I'm Jessica Layla, and today is the day that we've all been waiting for, another Reddit video. So today, I thought we could explore some toxic relationship posts. So if you're new here, there's this account that I follow on Instagram called Toxic Reddit. They are my favorite account for finding crazy Reddit stories. And um, we're kind of exploring outside of just the am I the a-hole category. Today we're going to be looking at relationship subreddits. So go give Toxic Reddit a follow on Instagram if you are interested in reading some of these crazy stories yourself. I love exploring uh, the super toxic stories, so everybody settle in. Cozy on up, even though it's summer and you're probably like 800 degrees in your bedroom and you're baking and your neighbors are screaming and overstimulating you. Grab yourself a nice cold glass of water. Let's get started. My 29 male fraternal twin brother 29 male has been no contact with me for nine years. I am ready to make amends. How do I do that? My brother and I had a tumultuous relationship to say the least. When I was younger I distanced myself from my brother. He argued I bullied him but it never got to that extent. This started around middle school as we had a disparity in popularity. I wasn't popular to say the least, I was in the middle, but my brother was a complete outcast. He felt that I bullied him to impress the popular kids. Even though we are twins, my brother was the complete opposite. He just had weird hobbies. Meanwhile, I played sports! Okay, good job! He complained to my parents and older sister about what I was doing, but they agreed with me. They did tell me to tone it down, and in my immaturity, I refused. This takes me to the last time he ever spoke with me. Senior year of high school, we had our prom. I didn't have my own date and was going with my group of friends. He was dating this weird girl who was a grade below us. I figure if I steal his prom date would make me get in with the pop- If I steal his prom date would make me get in with the popular kids. I was immature back then. That night went exactly how I planned and essentially I had sex with my brother's girlfriend. Oh. After that, he stopped talking to me completely. It didn't impress the kids in the school either. <laughs> I mostly got, damn, that's crazy, you effed your brother's girl. Most people found the drama funny, but it didn't make me popular. My parents were upset at my brother for letting a woman get between- What is wrong with this guy's parent? Well, after graduation, he joins the army and doesn't tell anyone. He blocked the entire family. It's been years since we talked. All I know is he's a warrant officer now. I don't know exactly what that is. Because a Google search is so difficult. But I have a friend who follows his account. He's married and his wife is a pharmacist. So he's doing well for himself. None of us family was invited to the wedding. I think it's time to put the past behind us and rebuild our relationship. No, it's not. So one glaringly obvious thing that sticks out from this post just <laughs> near immediately. Absolutely zero remorse coming through this post whatsoever. And it's crazy that, uh, you know, you could do that to your sibling, and not only your sibling, but your twin, and feel not bad at all. I would do the exact same as his brother. I would cut out any sibling who did that. And I'm so glad that the brother has seemingly found success elsewhere. You know what they say, karma is a- So yeah, let's move on. That one's genuinely horrible, and I feel so- so bad for the brother. My 31 male brother, 18 male, has gone no contact after I slept with his crush. How do I make it up to him? So I messed. <laughs> so I messed. I take accountability. I've been going through a lot and I've been depressed. My brother is in his freshman year in college. He's super smart and I'm so proud of him for all his accomplishments. I live in a different state from our parents and close to the school he's going to. I don't know what this are, I don't know what this are, so don't make fun of me. 
He got a four-year ROTC scholarship and wants to be a doctor. He's going to try to apply to the scholarship where the army pays for his medical school. I've been letting him stay with me since I only live 30 minutes from the school. He brought this girl over from a school and I hung out with them. I thought it would end there. He asked me on Instagram when we start talking and hanging out with the two of us on some friend... I opened up to her like I never opened up to anyone before. I'm not very successful and sometimes it's hard seeing my brother's accomplishments. She told me how she wants to be an occupational therapist. She told me that I'm very intelligent and just gotta put my mind to finding a career. Her struggles with her first year in college, I told her that she's really smart and will accomplish her goals. She also told me my brother is a great dude but she only sees him as a friend. Anyway, one night she came over and was hanging out with me. We just had sex. Unfortunately, I wasn't thinking about how much it would hurt my brother, but with my depression, she made me feel better and realized my potential. At the same time, I explained to him she didn't like him back. It wasn't his girlfriend. They only kissed and didn't sleep together. He actually took all his stuff and is staying at one of his friend's dorm and been ignoring me for two weeks now. If I knew this would be the reaction, I wouldn't have done it. I think it's dumb to let some woman come between us. What? I can't imagine. I, I'm like, I... I can't imagine uh, doing that to a sibling and yet again. I guess people just suck. So his brother is 18, so we can safely assume that this girl is also pretty young. Man's is 31. Why are you acting like you're 15? Just a really horrible brother all around. There's no defending this, and the age gap really makes me uncomfortable. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> My 29 female husband, 28 male, has known about my affair. How can I save our marriage? I've been together with my husband since my sophomore year of college, and we got married five years ago. It's been amazing, but I kind of miss being young. A couple of times a week after work, I go to the same bar when I don't want to sit in traffic. There's a guy that I would run into there, and it went from a friendship to harmless flirting. Flirting when you're married is never harmless. Next thing you know, I found myself having an affair. The thing is, I love my husband, and this guy was a younger version of my husband, making me feel young. To avoid going into too much detail, my sister recently found out and alerted my husband behind my back. My sister told me that she told my husband and he told her he already knows and cried to her. I didn't believe her and thought she was saying that because she wanted me to tell him when she found out. However, she knew something I didn't tell her. I have been begging my husband for us to start trying for a kid, but he has been unequivocal, unequivocal in one unequivocal and saying it's not the right time, despite our previous discussions about having kids at 28. My baby fever is high. She told me that the affair is why he doesn't want to have a baby right now. Valid! I never told her about him not wanting to have a baby right now. This prompted me to investigate. And I started digging into his phone, snooping with his password. He found out months ago and it caused him to be depressed. He's talking about it with his friend. She keeps telling him he should leave and at first he was hesitant saying he's going to try to remind me why I married him. She told him to just leave and he can't stay with her and her wife in the guest room. What? In one of the texts he said he was checked out and is sending apartment listings. This all makes sense because in the beginning of the affair he was being extra nice. We went on a trip when he was trying to remind me why I married him. A few weeks ago, he seemed to start acting completely different. I feel horrible. I had no idea that he would ever find out. I blocked my AP on everything. I'm ready to save my marriage. No, there is no saving this marriage. This marriage is going down like the Titanic. This marriage is up in flames. This marriage is brittle dry bones that are turning into dust and scattering with the winds. You didn't Ow. <laughs> you didn't even tell your husband. Your sister had to tell your husband. Um, I'm hoping he gets a divorce, because brother, do not stay with someone like this. If someone cheats on you once, they finna cheat on you again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> Girlfriend, 28 female, changed her phone password, and now I, 29 male, can't access it anymore. What do I do? I've been in a relationship with my girlfriend for a few years now. We've been living together for about a year. We've had our ups and downs. There's an issue that's really been bothering me lately. My girlfriend recently changed the password on her phone and now I can't access it anymore. 
Previously, I knew her password and could use her phone when needed. I never felt controlling because she never made a fuss about it until now. My girlfriend is somewhat active on social media. She has lots of friends on Snapchat and has a lot of followers in Instagram. She is always posting photos and chatting to her friends. She has a lot of male followers and I'm worried about the kinds of men she's getting attention from. That's one of the reasons why I want to monitor her to make sure she's staying safe and not getting harassed or bothered by any of these guys. Yesterday, I used her phone just to check up on her, and that's when I found out she changed her password. I asked her about it, and she said she wanted to have a bit more privacy. I don't understand. I let her use her phone by herself. She has lots of privacy. I explained to her that it made me feel secure knowing I could access her phone, and that it was important for me to have that level of trust and openness in our relationship. She said she understands, but still wants her privacy. I'm struggling with this because I don't understand why she felt the need to change it all of a sudden. It feels like a step backward in our relationship, and I'm finding it hard to shake the feeling that she's keeping she something from me. How should I handle the situation? Please, don't come at me. Only comment if you have genuine advice. Um, one thing I am wondering, just from reading this post, is why she switched it up, if she was seemingly okay with it, but... The phrasing of this post, in and of itself, comes across as kind of, like, babying. That's the only way I can really describe it, is the way this guy's like, I wanna monitor her, I wanna check up and make sure she's not being harassed. I just feel like that in and of itself is kind of a glaring red flag. I am curious why she changed her password. I'm like, it's nice that this person cares, I guess, but it also comes across as like, infinitizing his girlfriend. My 29 male girlfriend, 28 female, is upset that I won't let her hang out with her friends without me. How do I get her to understand my point of view? I have been with my girlfriend, Anna, for about a year now. We have had a great relationship, but there's one issue that's causing some tension. She has this group of friends she likes to hang out with, and lately she's been insisting on spending time with them without me. I don't see why she needs to hang out with them alone when we could all hang out together. I feel like if we're in a relationship, we should be doing things together. Plus, I don't trust her friends. They seem like the type who could influence her to do things behind my back, and I just want to make sure she's safe and not getting into any trouble. A couple of days ago, she told me she wanted to have a girls' night out. I told her I wasn't comfortable with that and suggested we all go out together instead. She got really upset saying she needs her space and time with her friends without me tagging along. She even called me controlling, which I think is completely unfair. I'm just trying to look out for her. I don't understand why she can't see my side of things. I just want to make sure she's safe and that we're spending time together. How do I get her to understand that my intentions are good and that she doesn't need to hang out with her friends without me? Are you kidding me? I freaking hate my neighbors. You know, my opinion is, if you're in a relationship, you should still have a life outside of the person you're with. Up to and including friendships, family, whatever else, that don't always involve your partner. Now, everything about this post, yet again, just screams red flag because there's not even like a consideration that she just wants time with her own people. That she um, is not getting into any trouble and that her friend seemed the type who could influence her to do things behind his back. Brother, what are you so worried about? And I don't get why he doesn't trust her enough to go out with her friends and not get into trouble. That just seems to be like the theme tonight, I guess. These are falling down, and I have to fix this to my hips. I can only take so much toxicity in one day. We saw a lot of wide ranges of people today, from the worst siblings ever to someone who should have been divorced a long time ago. Um, there's all kinds of characters on Reddit. I have a really hard time believing these people are real. I would like to believe in the depths of my heart that these stories are made up, but I know that in part some of them are real. The lack of remorse and self-awareness is always shocking every time. Um, down below is links a playlist if you don't want to stop your night here and you want to keep watching more Reddit videos. So yeah, there's a link down below if you want to go watch more, but otherwise, I think we're done here. So thank you all so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you all here next time.